What is your name? I am. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> 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 I just want to some more water for him. Alright, it's right here if he needs it. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Take two. Um, Aubrey Fuller, my juggler, stilt walker, unicycler, performer. Cool. How long have you worked um, for the Amazing Giants? Since late 2017, I believe. When you first started, what were your first impressions on stilts? It was just another thing for me because I had already been unicycling for years. I would skateboarded for probably over 10 years at that point. So in my head, it was just like, oh, here's another balance thing for me to try out. And then just so happened that I was good at it. Did you pick it up pretty quickly? You yeah. Think, because of? Yeah, I definitely attribute it to all the balance, mm -hmm. slackline, unicycle, skating, snowboarding. Any, any of the things that I did, because I think I remember getting up first first try and walking around. Were you juggling when you started? Yeah. Okay. Yep. You first started hanging out with the Amazing Giants. Did you think that you would be doing this for money? I think if you asked me before meeting the Giants, I would have said no, but because you asked me within the first week or so of meeting to be the juggler, <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, I, I could do this. Well, what has kept you interested in performing? There are so many things from seeing people's faces light up when you're performing and I really enjoy learning the connection between the body and the mind and exploring that and so stilt walking just you literally an extension of your legs uh, and like learning how to maneuver and how to do new tricks and all that stuff is really fun to me, I think. Do you enjoy uh, like the costuming aspect of it? Yeah, Halloween was always one of my favorite holidays and getting to dress up year round has been a dream. Yeah. Nice. Uh, what realizations did you have about yourself after interacting in public? It changed me a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wouldn't be sitting here in this chair had I not been stilt walking because it just brought me out of my shell. I used to be frowning on gigs and just stone-faced, but now I'm feeling the crowd interaction and working it out. It's, it's so much fun and has made me really confident as a person and a performer in general. It definitely taught me some good posture, Yeah, I'll tell you that much. Some dance moves. Yep, some, some dance moves. Um, what has been uh, a memorable moment? 4848 four, eight every year, music festival, it's always a blast, uh, but one in particular was when I got to stilt walk on stage with Green Sky. Yeah. What were you wearing the when you did that? Blue ski suit with ski poles matched to the stilts, and I remember the stage being wet to get out oh, to the yeah. stage. and. I was so terrified walking to the stage, but once I got on the dry part, it was smooth sailing. Yeah, you were dancing pretty wild on that stage. Yeah. At was... any time, were you worried that you were going to fall in front of everybody? Or... I try not to think about that. Okay. <laughs> so that's just uh, something I don't think about while I'm on the stilts. It was pretty wet. Uh huh, it was, but. You know, we, we did it. Um, how has performing with the Giants changed for you over the years? It's become a lot smoother over the years, like seeing the costuming and the just like general uh, pre-performance setup mm -hmm. has gone a lot smoother and mm -hmm. just gigs are running really well nowadays. So, How did it start? Was it just like a little chaotic or before? Uh, not so much chaotic, just having to like switch costumes last minute because something just didn't fit like having to make something work or whatever but improvisation is a good skill to learn Absolutely. when you're a performer yeah that is true uh and you feel like you've developed that more so over the years as your ability to just kind of roll with the punches yeah with i would i would say so yes 
Can you juggle and walk on stilts? A little bit. Okay. I've been trying to do it more lately because on the short stilts, I can actually pick up my, right. my clubs from nice. the ground. Uh, how have you developed your juggling over the years? Practice. Yeah. Lots of practice and just going to events and meeting new jugglers and trying to get info and experience from them and learning and new trick. But yeah, mostly just practice. I spend probably during the summer an hour at least every day in my yard juggling. So, What's your favorite thing to juggle? Clubs. Okay. Definitely clubs. Uh, fire wow. clubs do you have? Fire's okay. okay. I like I like fire, but I'm still learning. Mm -hmm. Something I want to do more of this year, I think. But for now, I'm into just regular club juggling. And nice. I've just got some nice LED clubs that I'm excited to expand and perform with. Uh, who do you admire in your field, or how do you like learn how to juggle? With social media, it's mm -hmm. so easy to see what everyone else is doing and so that's really inspiring to me but being around everyone in the giants is just such a treat like i feel so lucky to be surrounded by such talent and like see everyone grow and become more skilled in their field makes me want to be better mm -hmm. and makes me want to progress and expand my skill set mm -hmm. yeah yeah cool how about something that you've accomplished that you're pretty proud of I'd say the Westerville Circus gig was something huge for yes. me because I was super nervous about performing something that I had written jokes for because that was the first time that I would written anything and performed it at the same time because every other time I had been juggling to music. The moment I stepped on stage and the crowd was immediately interacting and like responding to the jokes and the performance, it just gave me a huge like it was a huge sigh of relief and it just made me want to do more more shows like that and just seeing the kids piled up in the front row was, was awesome. like nothing else yeah so. were you nervous at all oh yeah <laughs> yep how do you overcome nervousness uh i try to turn nervous too excited mm -hmm. so i'm instead of like oh i'm really nervous that i'm gonna mess up this this joke or like do something wrong or something I'm instead I change it to well I'm excited to do this part of the gig and I'm excited to do juggling fire on the yeah. tall unicycle yeah. so I just try and think of the good parts instead of think of the bad mm -hmm. the the what am I gonna mess up I just try and just mm -hmm. get that out of my head just completely what is something that you're you know maybe striving for or something that you'd like to do I think expand more on writing jokes and incorporating them into my routines, but also I would love to perform with a live band. I've always had that as a dream. Yeah. Um, I think that's something I can work towards and yeah. figure out how to incorporate that into a routine and mm -hmm. make something really cool. What are some funny moments that you've had? There have been too many. I I, I, too many that they all just kind of blend together they and do. Do one. Like it is performance related, and I uh, think everybody in performance can relate to this, uh, especially for something like stilt walking. Uh, anytime it rains, we can't stilt walk, uh -huh. so rain delays. Yes. We're always just in the back room or in the in yeah. the hotel, just clowning, <laughs> yeah. like literally, <laughs> just around. just just still in performer mode with each other and hanging out, making fun of the rain delay, <laughs> trying to cloud dows and yeah just the way everybody rolls with the punches and like kind of is able to if something goes wrong yeah able to just laugh it off when we're looking it's like ten thousand spoons when all you need is a knife when yes. you're looking for safety pins exactly in yes the band. yep and we're using little ones but then i find the whole box of big ones <laughs> yes <prize>. exactly <laughs> just the little things the little things what would you say to everyone who is timid to try something new, to start something dangerous like that? To just dip your toes in a little. I mean, it doesn't hurt to try something. And I uh, have spent many years trying new things and 
I regret none of it. Still walking, juggling, unicycling, all of those things to me were something I was interested in and was like, oh, I could maybe do this, but I'm not certain that I could be doing it. But now here I am years later and I'm getting I'm performing every month almost. I love it. So definitely just, just try it. It doesn't hurt to try, so. So compared to all the other performers and the acts, your ratio between failure and success? Juggling, it's definitely filled with a lot of failure and you definitely have to move past that. Um, you kind of have to accept that you're going to fail. Like, it's not a matter of if you're gonna get hurt, it's a matter of when, like you're gonna drop and you're gonna fail. So it's not a matter of if you're gonna fail, you are going to fail at juggling. But moving past that is what makes you become better and you just have to accept that as a fact. Mm -hmm. Have you fallen from the stilts? Yes. I was skipping and going really fast, just having a jolly old time. And then I think I caught my pant leg or something and just toppled forward. But I, luckily I landed mostly on my knees and was able to get back up pretty quickly. I think I remember looking over to the DJ who is the only person to see me fall and his mouth just dropped. And I'm looking at him like, <laughs> um, but I remember crawling over to a tree and then just climbing back up and finishing out the gig and yeah. it was fine. You weren't injured or anything or how nah, did you feel? Not really. I mean, I, I think I had messed up my wrist a little bit, uh -huh. but it's, it's okay. Yeah. It was just, uh, that was because I put my hands out instead of falling directly onto my knees. Mm -hmm. So. And you're not supposed to do Yes, that. aim for the knees. Yeah. <laughs> the knees are the, the key. Uh, nice. What kept you interested in, uh, in circus and performing? You were still doing it after all these years. I think just progressing. Like, I really love seeing where I started and where I am now, where I could be. Um, I think those are all great things to look forward to and the community is great and being able to interact with people. I think always, I've always wanted to make people happy in some way, shape or form and yeah. like do something to just bring joy and still walking, juggling, all the, all the things are just such an easy and great avenue for me to do that. Can you tell me um, about the time that you had a mohawk for the gig? Oh, the first gig? Yeah, the, oh, one yeah. Of the yeah, first yeah, gigs yeah, you yeah. did. Yeah. That that whole gig was a lot of fun. Um, I remember laying down in the back of the van. Yeah, I had a, this crazy, I had pretty long hair at the time, so I had this mohawk, and then the rest was in these like curls, and it looked really cool. But I also remember me still not really comfortable performing and still trying to figure out like how to be, and I think I, had like just dead face the whole time um, but it was really fun yeah yeah i think that was probably the wildest hair that i've had on a gig i think so too yep it's pretty awesome it was pretty great cool have pregnancy given you any break from <laughs> oh that's for Kaylin. that's for Kaylin, yeah. <laughs> that's um, what do your, uh, what does your family think about you, uh, performing when they see you perform? Uh, they love it. They, they encourage, they've always been encouraging and, uh, very, like, happy just to see me doing good. Uh -huh. So, uh, my mom's been out to a couple of the parades and she's always out there with her camera, like, waving and taking nice. videos and, yeah, I'm, I'm really grateful to have a family that supports me and yeah. keeps me going. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's important. Mm -hmm. cool. I think we got it. Yeah. If yeah. you want to add on something. Nah, I, I, yeah. I ain't got nothing. I think yeah. I talked. Yeah, that was great. Very good. I love Give it. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We're going to send him now for the, for the cops <laughs> to pull him over after the one. <laughs> <laughs>